So, uh, so Austin's the motive power for our uh, manulate. Used to be a balancing stand, but we use it for manulate more. <coughs> and uh, we're going to do some polishing here. This one's pretty decent. This is the one we ground. And we'll just hit it real quick. This is the opposite side. And you can see there's a few little lines there we can make it better. Unfortunately, the one that really had bronze impregnated in it, which was the other shaft, we already polished it before our cameraman got in for the day. So that means that that part didn't get on video. So we will, uh, we will do these ones though. We'll polish them up real quick and yeah, it'll make them prettier. Hmm. So. And this used to really be a problem when we used this air sander with our old air compressor because we had one that was a little uh, six horse homeowner air compressor that we used for a little over 20 years. And uh, the big one, 100 cubic foot per minute, is really nice. bushings wear in a little bit as long as you keep them oiled but there was some bronze that was stuck stuck on the shafts like I say this one not much the other one had quite a little bit embedded in it and then when you start up again even with oil on it the bronze tries to weld back to the bronze instead of wearing and clearancing out that's a problem a lot of times on engines so you take an engine and you're overhauling an engine you don't take it to a machine shop you mic it out, you're going to use standard size bearings. You want to do a little bit of polishing on the crank generally to get that little micro bit of uh, Babbitt. You won't really see it because it's gray colored the same as the steel. But there's a little bit of Babbitt that will end up on your crank journals and uh, it's good to get those off before you put new bearings on. 